Okay, hi guys, welcome back to another video. Okay, we're back with part 10, okay, of physical geography. Okay, here to cover uh, physical geography's chemical weathering. Okay, this part of your H2 syllabus. Okay, we're going to go through this very quickly. Okay, move on very quickly. Okay, because um, a lot of you should have already seen the first part. Hopefully, if you have not, um, the link will be down below. Okay, as well as up there. Okay, um, go, go check it out. Okay, because you need to understand what physical weathering is as well. Okay, in order for us to fully understand the whole weathering topic, which comprises of physical and your chemical weathering. Okay, if not, without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so what's the definition of phys of chemical weathering? Sorry. Okay, chemical weathering is basically the chemical alteration or decomposition of rocks and minerals. Okay, whereby the chemical composition, okay, of a rock is always being altered. Okay, so this always tends to take place in the presence of water. Okay, the reason why water is because water is what carries these chemicals. Okay, and it tends to be more prevalent in in your wet and your tropical climates, lah. So this is just for you to know roughly the context at which chemical weathering can take place. Okay, so there are five main types of chemical weathering types, okay, that will be in your syllabus that we will cover. You have got your carbonation, you have solution, you have oxidation, you have hydrolysis, and lastly, you have got your reduction. Okay, very, very simple few um, types that we will just go through what the outcome, the conditions, and the processes are for each one of these. Okay, firstly, you have got carbonation. Okay, conditions, real quick, limestone areas, as well as cool environment with a lot of carbon dioxide and water. Okay, what is carbonation? Carbonation, as the name suggests, okay, involves carbon something, right? So in this case, we have got a few agents that will be involved. You have got carbon dioxide, as well as rainwater. Okay, so when rainwater actually um, comes in contact with um, a huge amount of carbon dioxide. Okay, you actually produce this thing called carbonic acid. Okay, this one's more sciencey. You don't really have to know. Okay, just understand how it works. Okay, so when your carbonic acid combines with limestone, which is calcium carbonate, okay, it's like no, when it combines with calcium carbonate, okay, it forms limestone. Okay, so when it forms limestone, limestone can actually be easily weathered, right? So as a result, this causes your cast landscape. So if you actually go and find out, okay. The main weathering agents for lands, uh, cast landscapes okay, is carbonation solution. Okay, these are the two key okay, because carbonation is what this acid K okay, and um, um, when it combines to calcium carbonate will actually cause erosion to take place very very quickly. Okay, next up we have got solution. Okay, what is solution? Okay, take note conditions, humid, hot climates occurs in limestone areas as well. Okay, like I just mentioned, okay. Solution carbonation are basically the main agents for your cast landscapes. Okay, what happens is that when um water removes okay soluble materials or minerals okay from the rock, okay as I've written over here, okay it results in a weaker rock structure okay because you're altering the chemical composition of the rock. So this results in this thing this concept of granular disintegration, as we have already learned from the previous video. Okay, as a result, there's a lot of rocks with holes left behind. This is also a form of um, weathering. So as long as there are holes left behind, okay, weathering takes place. Okay, chemical weathering because of the removal of certain minerals takes place. Okay, this is what will actually cause um, granular disintegration. Take note of this term. Okay. Okay. Next up, you have got oxidation. What is oxidation? Okay, as the name suggests, oxygen oxidation, right? So you have always oxidation okay, will take place whereby rocks have um, the elements of iron or aluminium okay also high temperature just take note of that lah. okay so when there's a chemical reaction between metallic minerals okay whereby let's say iron and oxygen mixers okay this creates um browning okay when when combined with water why because of rusting okay think a bit think about it and when your iron starts to rust okay same concept so when there's the rusting effect that's taking place on the rocks okay this actually removes iron and this may disrupt your granular structure, hence making it more susceptible to further weathering such as physical weathering okay, um, or other chemical weathering processes which actually results in your granular disintegration. Okay, So oxidation is very simple as the name suggests, okay, it's oxygen related so there's rust that takes place when there is iron elements involved, iron minerals involved. Okay, Hydrolysis, okay, it takes Place okay, usually I don't recommend you use hydrolysis, can be a bit more technical to explain. Okay, but it takes place when there's silicate such as feldspar. Okay, we learn feldspar in rocks, right? So you can go back and take a look at that. Okay, when there's a chemical reaction between rock minerals, okay, so for example, silicate and um hydrogen, 
Okay, what actually happens is that it forms clay, and a lot of you will know, okay, you've played with clay before. Okay, clay is very, very weak in itself. The structure is really very weak, okay. Um, the more technical term, okay, that we use over here is the interlocking crystal network. Okay, as a result, this clay may actually turn white, and when it turns white, okay, um, this in itself is a form of weathering already. So this hydrolysis a bit more complicated. Don't recommend you use it. Okay, use the rest instead if you need to explain for a 12 mark question. Okay, reduction is actually very, very, very simple. You think about it, reduction in its name reduces something, right? So what it does is that it reduces um, when there's when there's water lock conditions, okay, there's actually this reduction in oxygen. Okay, when there's a removal of oxygen, this will cause the rock color to change. And this is a form of weathering as well. So weathering, don't don't think of it as a case whereby oh everything must break down. Okay, when you're looking at chemical weathering, you're looking at a change in chemical composition, which could be um, um, a subset whereby uh, it could be the change in color of a rock, or it could be the change in a certain number or a certain amount of minerals in the rock. Okay, so chemical weathering is not like physical weathering. Physical weathering is physical appearance. Okay, um, what actually breaks down in front of your eyes. Whereas chemical wedding is different, it takes part, it takes play inside behind the scenes instead. So physical wedding, um, like I said before, okay, we we'll emphasize again, tends to take place before chemical wedding can exploit. But after chemical wedding exploits, you notice that physical wedding can then come back into play. Okay, so just take note of this interchangeable um uh, link between the two uh, weathering types. Okay, so exam requirements is ex exactly the same. Okay, I carbon copied it from. Um, physical weathering. Okay, basically to understand the various chemical weathering processes. Okay, it usually comes out as a 12 mark essay question. If it does not, okay, it's basically your prerequisite knowledge to cast an Eulian landscape based essays. Okay, so if not, that's all for chemical weathering. Okay, just understand these main five. It is part of your syllabus. Check your uh, syllabus document if you need to. Okay, um, and if not, in the next few videos, okay, I'll mostly move on to cover cast and Eulian landscapes. Really, okay, because I think that is quite a topic which a lot of you tend to struggle in. Okay, so I'll be going through those topics instead. Okay, um, and if not, be sure to subscribe and leave a like, okay, if you enjoyed the video. Okay, let me know what are the other topics that you need to know, okay, so I can go through them as well. And yeah, do subscribe, okay, so that I know that you're enjoying and um, so that you yourself also can stay tuned to um, when my next few uploads will be coming up, okay? So if not, I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, till then, um, keep it up, okay? Bye-bye.